the wide open space of the Pacific, these swirling schools of fish are living in a home that will ultimately kill them. This is a fish aggregating device, or FAD. Fish are attracted to FADs because they seem to provide protection from predators. But here, the biggest killer on the food chain lies in wait. FADs are used by fishing fleets to attract large schools of fish into a concentrated habitat. Once a mini ecosystem is created around a FAD, fishing boats in search of tuna move in. They surround the FAD with massive nets and take everything. FADs can be sophisticated devices armed with radio locator beacons and biomass sensors to report the amount of fish the FAD has attracted. Or they can be as simple as some pieces of bamboo tied together. Tuna is the prize, but turtles, sharks, juvenile fish and a wide range of other marine life are caught in this trap. They're then thrown back dead into the ocean as unwanted bycatch. The Esperanza is on a mission in the Western Pacific Ocean to highlight this destructive fishing practice. Fads are banned in the Western Pacific during August and September, but this ban is ineffective. Many fishing nations are simply ignoring it. In less than a week, using nothing more than binoculars, the crew of the Esperanza located five fads, and even more were spotted from the helicopter. OK, Ed, so I'm going to put this tagline on it, and we'll tow it. Greenpeace has been confiscating fads as they've come across them. Besides being a danger to marine life, they're a hazard to passing ships and yachts. But there are some fads that cannot be touched. Japan has an exemption from the ban and continues to haul in tons of tuna with devastating efficiency. Greenpeace is campaigning for a total ban on fads in the Western Pacific. It's a fishing practice that, if left in place, will hasten the destruction of a wide range of marine species.